All right, so I'm just gonna make a video showing all the physical game, my physical game collection I got. And yeah, I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible. Possible because, well, I'm filming this with a charger first of all, and well, let's see. I'm just gonna go over this like as fast as I can. All right, I got Wii Fit, which I don't really play anymore. Uh, Quantum of Solace for PS2. It's I also have the PS3 version, and believe it or not, both versions are like really different. And many people actually consider the. All right, hold on. I need to plug in the charger. Sorry. So yeah, that's. Then I have Final Fantasy XII, not its original case. GameStop could be really bad sometimes with cases. MLB 2009, uh, Marvel Nemesis, kind of good fighting game. Medal of Honor Rising Sun, which is an okay first-person shooter. Smash Bros. Melee, good fighter, but its events are extremely hard. Little Big Planet, very good platforming game. Now we're moving to the second row. Sorry, need to adjust myself. Mario Party 7, an okay platformer. 007 Age Under Fire, an okay first person shooter. Uh, from Russia with Love, third person shooter. Hulk, a beat em up, and I hate Bruce Banner's missions. Mario Sunshine, self explanatory. Beautiful Joe, good side scrolling beat em up. Next game, uh, Indiana Jones 1, which I actually never finished. Guitar Hero 2, and I actually have no idea where the guitar controller is. RPG Maker 3, an okay maker, but it's, it's restrictive. Simpsons Hit and Run, an alright GTA clone, but it's hard. Thrillville, good theme park simulator. Marvel's Real Alliance, good successor to X-Men Legends. Sims, I really recommend the PC version. ATV Off-Road Fury, uh, good motorbike game. Gran Turismo 3, I believe, is the first PS2 game I ever played. I would think it's good. Then I have no idea how to pronounce this. I think it's Siphon Filter, the Omega Strain. It's mostly an online game. It's online's actually been shut down, but it's still good without it. Middle of Honor European Assault, slightly better than or than Rising Sun, but still not exactly there. Because uh, Frontline and the original Medal of Honor on the PlayStation and the new Medal of Honor 2010 are tons better. But now let me put these all back first. Now, uh, Time Prices 3, a good light gun shooter. Though I like two better. Vampire Knight, a good House of the Dead clone. Devil May Cry, good hack and slash game. Now hold on. I'm positioned on top of the chargers and I don't like that. Ah. Metal Gear Solid 2. Self-explanatory. Soul Calibur 3. Self-explanatory. Battlefront 2. Good Star Wars shooter. And it was actually my first Call of Duty ever. Like, I mean, it was like my first Call of Duty experience. Simpsons Road Rage. Uh, good. I actually like this better than Crazy Taxi, believe it or not. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there's more areas. Urban Rain. Extremely hard, but generally alright. Uh, Freedom Fighters. Also kind of hard, but it's a good... Uh, it's actually a good game made off the Hitman engine. Midnight, the original Midnight Club, among one of the first PS2 games ever made. Hard. Time Splitters, also one of the first PS2 games ever made. Hard. Time Splitters 2, an even better successor to time, the original. Sadly, I don't have the original case. Oh god, what is with GameStop? 
giving us all these cases. In fact, with one of the games I'm about to state, I actually picked up the original case, and hey, like when I was browsing through the store's inventory, and then I got the fake case just because the, the guy at the counter was too lazy just to get the disc out of the fake case he found. All right. Sorry that this takes a while, but... Now we're moving to my PS3 games, because I have gotten a PS3. All right. Uncharted 3, not as good as Uncharted 1 and 2. I, I was actually pretty disappointed with Uncharted 3, to tell you the truth, because they got rid of the bonuses system. Why can they do that? Arkham City, pretty good. Mass Effect 2, I was addicted to this for a while. Red Faction, you can smash entire buildings down. Medal of Honor 2010, uh, comes with Frontline, good, good package. Bloodstone, um, which it kind of, its story really sucks, but I actually found it to be entertain. this gameplay to be entertaining. Infamous 2, good open world game. Midnight Club LA, good, better than the original. Grand Theft Auto 4, I was addicted to this game for a very long time, and I actually still am. Modern Warfare 2, well, it's self-explanatory. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, sadly to soon be replaced with Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Lil Big Planet 2, the good successor to the original Lil Big Planet. Uh, Sports Champions, which is my first PlayStation Move game. Final Fantasy 13. The only problem I have it, with it is it's too hard. Quantum of Solace PS3, which is different from the PS2 version, believe it or not. The PS2 is third person, and PS3 is first person. Madden NFL 11. Mod Nation Racers, my god, I hate this game's online. Everybody's a god, and nobody joins your room. Infamous, uh, same as Infamous 2, pretty much, except with less features. Metal Gear Solid 4, pretty much self-explanatory. Lego Harry Potter, and believe it or not, this is a special bundle which opens like a book and comes with a Blu-ray copy of the first movie. Lucky me. To have bought from Target. Modern Warfare 3 Hardened Edition. It's a good thing I pre ordered. But it's disappointing compared to Modern Warfare 2. Soul Calibur 4, cannot wait for 5. God of War Collection came with my PS3, it's the only reason I have it. Though I love it. Ultimate Alliance 2, good. Indiana Jones 2, I, it's pretty restrictive compared to other LEGO games in terms of levels, but oh well. Arkham Asylum, which is good. LEGO Batman, which I actually have in PSP. Mag, I had this for Call of Duty. Uh, Force Unleashed, which I actually enjoyed. Uncharted 2, the best Uncharted game ever. Uncharted 1, in between the two, 1, 2, and 3. Toy Story 3. The only reason I bought this is because I thought the toy box mode was a scenario making mode like Little Big Planet. But it's still good. Tekken 6. Oh, yeah. Alright. I get. You know what? I'm not going to put any of this down. I'm just going to clean up after. I'll clean up after I show all the games. Mario Bros. Wii, you can see right there. Smash Bros. Brawl, you can see. Wii Sports Resort, you can see. Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, Thrillville Off the Rails. Uh, Mario Galaxy 1. Super Paper Mario. The Simpsons game. Aim, Spider-Man 3, uh, Lego Star Wars, 
Spider-Man, Web of Shadows, Ben 10. I don't know why I just said that. I wish I sold you. Uh, Boombox, Golden Eye, and I'm not. This is not the Golden Eye I refer to in my videos. I'm referring to the original N64 version. Mario Kart Wii, Olympics, and Wii Party. It's basically all the Wii games I got, and I got some PS2 games in the back here. But oh god, I this is gonna be a chore. Sorry. Oh god. Oh. All right. Well, let's see. I'm not sure if you can see, but all right. Then there's most of these are like kitty games. I don't really play anymore, so you, it doesn't really matter. The only one I really care about is the Eds over there, if you can see. Oh my god, would that cough go away? Uh, time Prices 2, good like gun shooter. Tekken 5, good successor to the Tekken games. Everything or Nothing, the better version of From Russia with Love. Ultimate Spider Man, good Spider Man game. Star Wars Episode 3, uh, Friend or Foe. Shrek Super Slam. Harry Potter, Quidditch, uh, Nicktoons Unite, and whatever. Uh, Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets for GameCube. Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII. Good. Meet the Robinsons, I have no idea. Midnight Club 2, better than 1. Tag, the original Tekken Tag Tournament. The only launch title for the PS2 that was easy. Uh, uh, do I have a good way of Rugrats? I actually kind of like Rugrats. Alright, you suck. Now we're moving up to the last of the PS2 games, and we're at the 12 minute mark. Uh, it's Spider Man 2, and Call of Duty 3, and Rainbow Six 3. Uh, mercenaries. Actually, I'm not going to go over these. Like, all these you see here, like Max Payne, Final Fantasy, Grant GTA 3, Bully, Devil May Cry 2, Mega Man, GoldenEye Rogue Agent, King Kong, X-Men Legends, and all that. I'm working on these games right now, like, literally in my spare time. So, I would not request them until you see them off the shelf or when I confirm it. I'll pick that up. Uh, once again, these are mostly kitty games, but we do got Pac-Man Fever, Tac 2, and Death by Degrees. Step back there, and uh, SpongeBob movie. I actually kind of want to do that. I don't know why. And we got up here. Uh, screw you. Uh, my God. Devil May Cry 3, extremely hard. I almost ended up selling it. Tekken 4, not that good of a game, to tell you the truth. Uh, Pac-Man World, oh my god, I have to awkwardly position all of these. I wonder how I'm going to clean this all up. Uh, Pac-Man World 2, uh, no... No, Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, okay, now we can check right here and see a little bit. Uh, uh, God. Uh, so, oh, God. All right. There's the KH games, Monster House. This is kind of a ripoff of Resident Evil 4. Then in Shrek 2, you can see there, and that's actually about it for the PS2 games. Now we're moving to... Now I'm not going to show my DS or PSP games, because, well, how can you request... And how can you, like, tell, ask me to do those? Alright, well, now I'm going to show my games for the original PlayStation. Now we got Soul Blade, Die Hard Trilogy, two James Bond games, Tomorrow Never Dies, World's Not Enough. 
Rainbow Six Rogue Spear, Rugrats, yay. Then we also have the original Time Crisis, but please do not ask for that because it's unplayable without a gun con, which I don't have. Then I also want to point out te the original Tekken. The original Tekken. Look at how huge it is in contrast to the other game PlayStation cases. And look like look at Soul Blade. It's like a midget compared to Tekken. That's what 1995 cases are for you. Then we have PlayStation games right here. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, then most of these I don't really want to mention, but I'll show them anyway. Like you can see the 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 side labels. Most of these I really do not want to mention. But hey, I got Game of Life and Jeopardy, then Bugs Life and Toy Story 2 and Aladdin and Tekken 3, and that's good. 102 Dalmatians, I do not know why I just mentioned that. And Nicktoons Racing, uh, should have been more. Alright, but now I can't really show the games back here without, like, moving this chair over. Oh, God. Oh, all right now oh now I can show the games here uh, all right now we have spider-man 2 monopoly on PlayStation all right and uh, most of these are like I saw I'm sorry for the lighting there's the original pac-man world and you can I actually have two copies of spider-man now that's power ranger sorry you can't see that's Final Fantasy 6. Like, you can see the logo barely. Uh, that's Buzz Lightyear. That's, uh... Alright. And Tarzan. And Monsters and Zang. And then the original Harry Potter on PlayStation. And Scooby-Doo. That's about it. Oh, God. I, oh, wait. I forgot to show a couple of PS2 games I have right here. Well, I got Wii Sports. Who wouldn't have Wii Sports? And let me get all this out of the way. So I can show these last few PS2 games. Uh, the original Splinter Cell. Why they released con did not release Conviction on PS3. I will never know. Virtual Fighter Evolution. Uh... Spider-Man the movie, Front Mission 4, one of my favorite tactical series game, tactical role-playing game series of all time. <coughs> uh, Nightfire, James Bond game, and Soul Calibur 2. That's basically that's basically all the physical games I have. I do have plenty of digital downloads, but I'd rather just save that for like another time. Maybe if you want to see them, I'll show them. But, anyway, that's about it. Uh, if you see a game you like, just simply ask for it, and I now got a big mess to clean up. Goodbye.